Jeffries. The team ticket for Blake Jeffries. The team ticket for Blake Jeffries. You can come up here into the line with this tour. What's going on, everyone? Might go back doing my Philly show recap for spring 2022. Philly show is a long running show. Been going to it since I was a kid. It is spanned it decades. It's moved to different locations. And it's getting close to the point where it might need to move locations again because this Philly show was wild. Specifically speaking about Saturday, it was out of control busy. So Philly show is Friday, Saturday, Sunday show. Typically for me, I like to try and get there Friday, get first crack at everything that's there. Usually it's busy, but not crazy crowded. Uh, Sundays are kind of the wild card day. You maybe go back for a second time, but you don't want to make that your main day. Shorter hours, uh, some dealers kind of in a rush to get out of there early. Things are picked over. But I wasn't available Friday, so I figured I'm going to do the full day Saturday. And it was bananas. It was absolutely nuts. Now, it's kind of the tale of first half, second half for me. Because the first half of the show was so intensely busy. It was honestly a little bit aggravating. It was uh, frustrating. And it was one of those things I'm, I like to look at everything as best I can, kind of at least glance at everything and then kind of go back and target different things. And it was hard to see the showcases. It was hard to look in value boxes due to the crazy crowds. Another aspect I look forward to every time is meeting up with friends, meeting new people, other people in the community. And that was also really difficult. I mean, I was there for a few hours before I finally ran into someone. Uh, I ran into Flipping Steve, who has a channel. And was able to catch up with him for a few minutes. And Wesker Griff, I finally ran into a little while later. And I just knew as soon as I pulled in at how busy the parking lot was. And I got there early. And then getting in there and waiting in line. It was no exaggeration. It was wall-to-wall people. It was absolutely nuts. And everyone was saying the same thing. I know Reese ND Card Ranger has a fantastic channel. Was looking forward to meeting up with him and he got out of there early because it was just so crazy. Ray from Philly, who I finally ran into as well, he ended up cutting out early. I know Ed cut out early. I did eventually run into breakout cards. So I was able to run into everyone. It just took a while. It was one of those things it took hours instead of potentially minutes because you just couldn't move around as quickly and honestly someone could be five feet from you and you might not see them but I was able to finally pick some stuff up not a whole lot of volume but it was uh it was a good time specifically the second half when I finally hours hours into the show after some people left and those last two hours were much more enjoyable. It was a little more relaxed. Uh, still very busy, still very crowded, but just not as compared to as it was early. I had finally run into Andrew Nuff said cards, and we were able to pal around and catch up and stuff, and it was cool. So let me show off a few things that I picked up. Not a crazy volume, like I said. Just a cheap Bryce Harper prism. Red, white, blue from 2014 prism. I'm not sure if the uh, sparkly shine is a parallel on top of the red white blue or if that's the way they made i'm not super familiar with the older school prism baseball products here's another kind of little bargain box pickup this is a chase utley prism you just don't see some of the uh older prisms that often it's a 2013 so bargain box stuff like that fits the phillies collection it's not something that's going to get people you know on youtube excited but It gets me excited um, to add them to the collection. So that's uh, a lot of fun. Picked up some cheaper Phillies autographs out of a box. It was one of the few boxes early on in the show I could actually 
go through without, you know, getting elbowed in the side or bumped in the back or, you know, someone staring through you trying to get to the boxes. It was crazy. But just some bargain autographs. Steve Jeltz, Zach Eflin, Heritage rookie. These are all like IP autographs. Bailey Falter, he pitched for the Phillies this past season, so that's one I needed for the Phillies uh, collection. Mike Grace, who was with them in the mid-90s. Tommy Joseph, Allen and Ginter. Tyler Goodell, he had a moment with the Phillies where he threw out a runner to end the game. That was pretty fun. That's kind of what he'll be remembered for as a Philly. J.D. Hammer kind of gets recognition for the glasses and that was about it. Michael Stutes, he had a few moments as a reliever. Dave Holland's member of the 93 Phillies. I have plenty of Dave Holland stuff. I just picked it up for the 93 uh, 93 upper deck, one of the best-looking upper deck sets of all time. Wouldn't mind doing the team set uh, signed at some point, so I always pick them up if I find them. Randy Wolf on the 55 Bowman, Bowman Heritage. So that's a nice one. And then Tom Marsh, just not someone you see every day. He was a uh, probably like a 94-95 Philly. I actually remember he was sliding in the second and got kneed in the head by like the second baseman or shortstop and was out for a while. There you see, 92. So yeah, he was probably with the Phillies in 92. So that was the kind of stuff I picked up early in the show and then later on uh, was able to pick up a few things. Finally added a... Uh, Oddball, a rarer item to the Phillies collection. This is a Richie Allen, and I like this thing I saw in the display case, and just the color of the sky, the sleeves, the hat just popped, stood out to me. So I didn't know much about it, and I was with Andrew, and he looked it up on VCP and saw that it was a solid price. And I figured, what the hell? It's one of those things you don't see every day, and if you don't grab it, quite honestly, a year or two goes by and you still haven't seen another one. But 1960 Dexter Press. Richie Allen. So that's a pretty cool one. That'll be one I wouldn't mind. I'll more than likely end up getting that slab by SGC. That's just the way I like to collect the Phillies stuff. But always nice to add something to the collection. And when I'm going to the Phillies show or the National, I'm always on the lookout for the things you don't see every day, the things you're not going to run into on eBay every day. And that's kind of what I uh, look for specifically. Obviously, I enjoy looking at all the ultra-modern stuff and, you know, even the vintage stuff now. But the Phillies show was good. I mean, it was packed. There was a good diversity of people there, good diversity of ages of collectors there. The hobby is in a very good place. There's no doubt about that. Um, just that show specifically was a little too busy and potentially a turnoff uh, for some people or maybe people alter their plans next time and try and find a way to go there a little later or um, maybe Friday or Sunday. Trade night was pretty solid. Went there and checked that out for a little while and I did have one pickup there and that was my biggest pickup of the show. By the way, uh, make sure you check out the channels that I had mentioned, people I met up with and also, uh, Ed, I know, Wesker Griff, he is, I believe, going to do a recap, not up at the time of this recording, but I did jump on with him, and we did a live video to kind of discuss the show, so check that video out. Anyway, for the pickup from the trade, na trade night, did pick up one vintage card, one vintage rookie, one Hall of Fame rookie, 1955 Topps Harmon Killebro. So this is one of those cards that's been on the list, I haven't like specifically been studying it or seeking it out there's it's not at the top of the list but is on the list and i just kind of ran into one and it was priced very fairly and then i figured you know what if i can get it down to a certain price it'd be silly to not pick it up because it's unlikely to be the type of card that's going to drop right so if you have an opportunity to buy a hall of fame rookie vintage at a really good price well below recent comps, then you got to jump on it. So I picked up the 55 Bowman Harmon Killebrew. So happy about that. Overall looks really nice. Color is fantastic. The corners look pretty solid. Centering, not perfect, but not terrible either. Doesn't stand out. 
cards can be a little off center and they'll still have great eye appeal. It's when they're certain designs uh, lend themselves more to the necessity of closer to perfect centering. I mean, when I'm looking at this card, I'm looking directly at this image and the color. I'm not t taken out immediately by centering. Now, I'm sure if it was cut completely off one way or the other, then maybe it would distract. But this one doesn't. So super happy to pick that up. So that is it for the Philly Show recap. Overall, a success. Did have a good time. Like I said, the tale of two halves of the show, the first half was anxious and a little more anxiety-ridden and frustrating because you couldn't see anything. The back half was a lot more enjoyable, a lot more casual, able to kind of just relax and glance at stuff and look at things, uh, whether it was for things you'd consider purchasing or not, just to be able to kind of see things and chat and then kind of sit back at the trade night and just relax and converse. You know, that that part was really uh, a lot of fun. So overall, a success. I definitely, getting out there, getting to a show, made me start thinking of others. Kind of started juicy up a little bit for the National, make you start thinking about that. And then some of the other upcoming shows, like hopefully Chantilly, perhaps I'll be able to do that this year. Uh, probably not the next one coming up, but maybe during the summertime. And, uh, you know, would love to do some of the other shows, but card shows are awesome. There's no doubt about that. You can buy cards all day on eBay, and you can look at cards on Instagram and YouTube, but getting out there in the wild and seeing them is uh, fantastic. So comment below. Let me know what you think of the pickups. My thoughts on the show. If you were at the show, what did you think? And I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.